All right, Cody here from Movie Losers back with another review. Checking out The Foreigner starring Jackie Chan. Meeting my buddy Kieran at Movie Tavern over here. And uh, yeah, it's, it's fitting. I mean, the man is from a foreign country, Ireland, right? At least I think so. Honestly, I can barely understand a word the man says, but excited nonetheless. Thanks for watching. Welcome new subscribers. Let's do this. All right, Cody back from Movie Losers. I did an intro before that you have yet to see. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, actually, I made like an Irish joke. I didn't even realize that the Irish people would be the villains yeah. in this movie, the, the IRA, yeah. is that right? Um, yeah, let's jump in. You can probably explain just a little bit about the plot for the, the people watching better than I can. Well, I did find the dialogue in this movie just to be a little confusing, even as somebody who knows a little bit about this background. Mm -hmm. um, An Irishman, you are. Yes, I am. Yes. Irish heritage, yes. yes. Um, it is very confusing. It takes a while to kind of like dissect their kind of plan, if you will. Mm -hmm. There's always been kind of conflict between Northern Ireland, which is owned, of course, by United Kingdom London. Yeah. There's always yeah. been a conflict between the IRA and, and the Brits, and so this there is a conflict within that involves that. Um, mm -hmm. I don't want to go into spoilers because I did really enjoy this movie. It's more of a political thriller yeah. than like a Jackie Chan action. Like it's definitely not a action comedy like we're used yeah. to seeing him in or just a straight up action movie. Right. It's political thriller with action elements so prepare yourself for that. Yeah, the trailers did kind of make it seem like it was going to be like a John Wick taken kind of movie and yeah. if you go in expecting that you might be a little disappointed but overall I enjoyed the movie. I thought it was I a good too. blend. I thought Jackie Chan who kind of gets pegged as this stunt man. I yeah. thought he nailed a dramatic role. I thought he was really yeah, he, in this movie. He's in it less than I thought, but yeah. when he was in it, he was really great. Right. And I actually to the political thriller aspect of it. It was a really well-crafted story. Yeah. Um and Pierce Brosnan plays uh, an older like what leader of he's the like IRA, a chief deputy of uh, Northern Ireland. Yeah, or, yeah, he's like um uh what's the word I'm looking for like a liaison between uh, diplomat of yeah. sorts. Kind of like, yeah, diplomat. Um, yeah. We don't know politics. Yeah. That's, that's the main problem. Um, but I thought all, like the story is pretty well paced. It's it's slow, but because it's setting up all the pieces. Absolutely. So that's what makes it a good political thriller in my mind. But I wanted more of like, there's like a real kind of visceral moment in the forest and yeah. as, well as, as well as the house uh, with Jackie Chan and the stunt choreography and the, the fighting. I wanted more of that. I thought, okay, we're, we're getting like little bits of that throughout and we're yeah. getting the political stuff that's really interesting and the third act is gonna blow us away with like, oh, I thought like all these police were gonna come down yeah. on him and he's like one man like fighting. Yeah, right, 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 right. With his, until his last breath. Yeah. Um, didn't happen, not to spoil like the ending, but it, it lost a little momentum for me. Yeah towards the third act, but still a very fun movie throughout. Yeah, I, like I said in the beginning, I just felt like the, the dialogue just kind of bogged it down at points. I, I mm. thought Martin Campbell, who directed this movie, of course, people remember him from GoldenEye, Mask of Zorro, Casino Royale, one of my favorites of all time. Yeah. I thought he did a really good job with this movie, setting things up. I just, like mm -hmm. you, I was, wait, was waiting for that, like, John Wisk, Wh Wisk. <laughs> John Wisk. Wisk. <laughs> Wick. Uh, Different movie. Kind of just climactic, just like, yeah. hell yeah scene. He and is like it, 65 or 60, yeah. so. It's kind of hard to expect, expect it, but just from what yeah. we saw in the trailers, that's what I thought we were going to get. Yeah, yeah, sure. And I really enjoyed Pierce Brosnan, too. I just it made me think how much I miss not only him, but also... Uh, Jackie Chan, so yeah. good to have both of them back yes. in this. Um, and yet, directing wise, this was really awesome as well. Yeah. So, let's score it. All right, I'm gonna go with a four out of five for this movie. I think you guys will enjoy it. Go ahead, go see this, support it, because Jackie Chan and Pierce Brosnan are really amazing in this movie. Go to your local movie tavern, have a couple of beers, but make sure to order quickly because they're very slow. <laughs> I give it a four as well. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys. Boop boop. Boop boop.